else going back out here at the range today today we are going to be shooting the Beretta M9 A3 empty chamber no mag okay this is the Beretta M9 A3 this is the model with the decocker there's no manual safety um, hold 17 rounds got our 17 round mag here um, this is a great little gun uh, we're gonna shoot around with it today uh, I've had a lot of fun shooting it so far I picked this up from a local gun store it was uh, it was pre-owned but it doesn't look like it had been shot hardly at all um, it's got a threaded barrel uh, you're into that so we're getting this mag loaded up. We're gonna shoot around. Uh, we'll test out some accuracy with it. We'll probably go back to uh, 50 yards or so and just take some shots on steel and see what we get with that. I believe this was submitted for a military contract. It was not accepted. Um, I did not look into as of why. Uh, but we're going to shoot it around today. Have a little fun with it. Uh, this has a the double action, single action trigger. So again, empty chamber. So it's got a long first pull. But it's not too bad. After that, we have a... I'd call that about a medium reset. And then very, very light uh, second pull. Alright, so here's our first pull. This is going to be our... Uh, double action pull. Okay, followed by our single action pull. It's a good little shooting gun. I happen to have another mag. Send some more in. All right, <clears throat> we're here at 50 yards. I'm gonna take some shots on uh, our steel target down there, and we'll see if we can get some hits, test out the accuracy. So, not too bad overall. There's that decocker. All right, now we're here at 25 yards. We'll take some shots at 25. And that should take us to the end. Take that long first pull. So, not too bad. It's a pretty fun shooting gun. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with it so far. Uh, it's actually not, it's not as heavy as you would think. Uh, it is a steel frame, uh, but it, it's really not bad. It's a little heavy to carry, but uh, I've been carrying it with a tier one holster and it's actually not been that bad at all. I uh, wouldn't recommend it if you're, you know, wearing shorts and a t-shirt, obviously. But, you know, if you're wearing jeans uh, and like what I'm wearing today, uh, you carry it just fine. So. Here's our hits on steel. So these are all from 50 and 25 yards. Our other hits, these are from our last video. Our other hits are here. So we've got some in the head, some in the body. I uh, only shot that once. So overall, not bad. Uh, it's a very smooth shooting gun. So overall, this is a, it's a great gun, very reliable. Uh, it's not my everyday carry, obviously. I mean, it, it's heavier than I'd like for an everyday carry. Uh, typically, I'll wear this on a belt. It's got a rail right here, so I'll usually throw a light on that um, and wear it on outside the waistband holster. But very smooth shooting gun. Um, it feels great in the hand. It's a, you know, not a, not a, I wouldn't say it's a full-size grip, 
um, so I can get my whole hand on there. It holds 17. Um, it doesn't feel, it's a full size grip, but it doesn't feel as full as like a, uh, you know, Glock 17 or a, like a CZ P10F. It doesn't feel as big as those. Um, but I, it also has um, removable grips, so you can get a rubber one as well that makes it a little bit thicker. Um, I like the one that it comes with. So uh, it does have night sights as well. If I am going to carry this, this is how I carry it. This is a, a T, uh, tier one Axis Elite, I believe. Uh, it's got the uh, Ulti clips right there. It's, it's really not too bad uh, for concealed carry. So you've got your spare mag here as well. It's, uh, it's a great little gun. Another feature of this, if you do carry, typically if I'm gonna carry this, there's no manual safety and I'll just carry without the hammer cocked at all. Uh, you can carry with a, I can say that's probably a quarter, and basically that just takes out a little bit of play in that full trigger pull. So without that, you see, that's all the take up you have right there. You have a little quarter pull on the hammer and it gets you back to there. I would not recommend carrying like that because as you see, there's very little take up. And that's a very, very light trigger. But that is an added benefit if you do choose to carry and you want to carry with it quarter cocked like that. I don't think I don't think there's any concern there. Um, it's still one once you meet the take up, it's still a harder trigger pull. I don't think you're not going to snag that on your clothes, and if you do, you're you shouldn't ever you know you know push through resistance when you're holstering or anything like that. So if you get snagged on anything, I don't see it firing unless you just push right through it. A lot of people have referred to this as the 50 shades of tan. Uh, I'm a big fan. It's a, like I said, steel frame, steel slide, um, exposed barrel, and they're all different colors and it just, it, it goes well. Well, thank you for watching my short and sweet review of this gun. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to answer those to the best of my knowledge. Uh, hopefully we can get out and shoot this a little more sometime. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. We'll get you guys some more videos.